there's a growing body of evidence that the official of figures for the UK's carbon dioxide emissions as given by the government are a massive underestimate because they do not include all the stuff that is manufactured overseas for us, all the pollution from those factories in other countries making things for us that should be part of our carbon footprint but aren't included in the official statistics. And this poem is partly inspired by that and it's partly inspired by the Argos catalogue and it's called Consumed. It goes like this. Plastic, throw away, junk won't go away, 60,000 tonnes or so a day. The styrene shells from round Big Macs, the bags from crisps and other snacks, teetering stacks of Tetra Packs forced into bulging rubbish sacks, landfill, a fine memento mori, monument to our vain glory. But this is only half the story. Coal fuels the dark satanic mills that choke the air in Indochina, making useless dross to fill our homes and dustbin liners. This trail of fault gives a result you might find rather strange. For every piece of merchandise included in the burger price and every pack of useless tat, look mum, free climate change. And so we're cooking the planet with Fresh fruit packaging, gnomes with wacky grins, odd little plastic inside cracker things, blow up chairs, spray on hair, clothes you know you'll never wear, low fat grills, weight loss pills, electric salt and pepper mills, garden strimmers, nose hair trimmers, buzzing belts to make you slimmer, blackhead guns, rubber nuns, cuddly emoticons, plasma screens, ski machines, and deck figurines. Flashing ties, dolls that cry, another book on Princess Die, electronic hangman, fake tan, sillet bang, bottled water, coin sorter, stuff to make your eyebrows shorter, fake rocks, heated socks, the complete DVD box films of Michael J. Fox in a Teen Wolf lunchbox. A robot dog called Humper who thrusts gamely at your leg as you debobble your jumper and or toady shell your egg. Say goodbye to spills with this fantastic olive oil decanter and get festive with this life-size plastic Yoda dressed as Santa. Every tragic item in this wretched litany is real. So please try to understand just how ridiculous I feel attempting to explain this to my unbelieving <laughs> friends like some mad prophet of doom convinced the world's about to end. All those kinder eggs you buy will drain Botswana's soils dry. Your room perfumer, Alpine Fresh, is flooding towns in Bangladesh. How far has the Sahara grown? for your dancing banana phone. Perhaps I shouldn't be surprised, they've not yet done all I've advised, but look, we know the marketeers are playing on our hopes and fears with pseudo-scientific junk to make us buy their bottled gunk. We know it's nonsense when they swear we need their slime to shine our hair and four layers around a tangerine to keep our kids safe from gangrene. It's not too pro-vitamin complex for us to understand that their fun for all the family is getting out of hand. It's a crazy one-off deal, our tasters all agree, using mass consumer growth to run the world's economy. Try to get a new flexi grip on what I'm trying to say. Things that add nothing to our lives take others' lives away and bring eco-armageddon a bit closer every day. We know we can live rich, full lives without their junk and waste and lies and sensible restraint could save us from our closest ever shave. To eco-swift wipe clean this mess, as proved by independent tests, we need new rules on tax and trade to stop this junk from being made. So join me on the barricade and start demanding 